Henry the Seventh, having just uh, beaten Richard the Third, uh, Bosworth Field, I believe it was. Um, so Henry Tudor is now the king. He marries uh, Edward's the, the king before Richard. Ed, well, Edward the Fourth, I should say. He marries his sister. Uh, it's in order to unify the houses of Lancaster and um, Plantagenet. Uh, sorry, yeah, the houses of Lancaster and York, sorry, so the joining of the Tudors and the Plantagenets. Um, and then, you know, we were going to have a King Arthur, unfortunately died quite young, so therefore Henry VIII came to the throne. And uh, obviously um, he, he had three children uh the oldest was mary the middle one was elizabeth and obviously the, the youngest one was edward um and on henry's death edward became king but he was a sickly child suffered from hemophilia a condition that can be easily treated this day and age but back then it was uh it was life and death and edward passes away then um Essentially, we, we've got uh, a young lady called Jane Grey. She was literally queen for nine days. And then we get Mary Tudor, who started off as a, as a decent monarch and then became Bloody Mary, but she was poorly in her own right. And upon her death, we then get Queen Elizabeth, and we then have, you know, 40 years or so of stability. So we have, you know, Henry Tudor um, all the way through to uh, Queen Queen Elizabeth, and then on her deathbed, obviously, um, she has to nominate an heir. She had no natural heir of her own. She might have had a few bastards, if you believe certain <laughs> rumours. But I don't, I don't. So, basically, and this is where history becomes quite interesting, and I've just uh, shared, a, shared a screen. I don't know if you can see that. This is... James the First of England. Now, as DJ will quite rightly tell you, what was special about James the First of England, DJ? Sorry, son. Well, what was doing. special about him? I know what you're doing, dickhead. <laughs> well, what was special about James the First of England? I know what you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> you're not going to paint me like. Well, James, the, just in case anybody was unaware, James the First of England was also, also, James the Sixth of Scotland. Oh. James the First was on the what throne during point? the. What's your point? Send some powder plot. Sansom, are you saying that uh, we had a king that was the king of? independently the king of england and the king of scotland at the same time and yes. unified the uh great britain no no i'm not saying that what i'm saying is what i'm saying is here we have an outright hey, one. Hey. you are annoying me now like you know all i'm saying all i'm saying no 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 you will let me speak now saxon right you call it out, right? You, what you're doing is you're trying to sort of pat yourself on the back and go, oh, look at all the history in you. I'm well aware of all the fucking history. I've done all, all this shit in school, okay? <laughs> My point was, and I will reiterate it, and I will elaborate, and you will allow me to elaborate, when I brought up the Jacobites uh, on that stream that we did, and when I said they turned around uh, and got their arses handed to them, oh, hold on let me so finish. We, we have, let we me haven't finish. got to the Jacobites. I don't give a shit. What ahead. I was saying was that had they not turned round and had they marched down to London, which was their intention, who knows what the future would have held for an SDU English because they didn't have good intentions for you. That was my point. But you kept saying when I kept when I said, "Oh, they were ruled," but you would have been ruled by Scots. I meant you would have been ruled by Scots who did not have your best interests at heart. The fucking Jacobites, dickhead. That's what I meant. So don't give me a wee history lesson, like well, okay, you're talking is, to the wrong is, person here. All right, I am. Jack, I'm a pro Jacobite, Bar Billy Prince Charlie, or what Bonnie Prince Charlie. Fuck him. Uh, you know, I'm pro, I'm pro Scottish Highlander. You're not going to educate me on this subject, dickhead. Like you're, you're, you're actually creating me. This is this me. is 
this is the true nature of a toucher, not keeping his powder dry, you know, going off half cock. Like, I, mean, I didn't even know this. That's not what I was saying. I was saying no, 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 I'm not saying anything. I'm not even mentioning the Jacobite rebellion. What, what would have happened? What would have happened if the Jacobites <laughs> booted down the doors of fucking, you know, your parliament and your, 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 your thing off his throat and that? Well, who would have known? You might all have been genocided for all I know. But guess who ended up being genocided? My people. So fuck you. No, no, no! You're missing the point. You're missing the point. I'm not even. I'm not even no, going there. Right? Born the Scottish Highlanders, born the Duke does. Fuck you. So here we have. <laughs> <laughs> James the First of England, and also uh, James the uh, Sixth of Scotland, and obviously on on his uh, sad passing, it could have come. In uh, you know, a little bit earlier, was it 1603 or five, or was it when when old Guy Fawkes nearly had his way? But he was still got a like sort of a, a, a true a true monarchy here. And then we have this splendid fellow here, it's Alec Guinness, as you can see. Um, oh. now this is the, do you know who this is? Air 42 chronologically. No, who's this? This is King Charles the First, right? Right. Okay. So we've had one generation of uh, Scottish rule. Now he is the second generation, yeah, or sorry, the second in line, shall we say? Now, which king came after Charles the First? And I'm talking about who who became who who became essentially the effective <laughs> ruler or protector. <laughs> After, <laughs> after Charles, <laughs> after Charles the First. Who cares? Do you know? Well, I'll tell the chat I'm, now. I'm, not, I'm just not playing at your games here. You're trying to, like, you, you, was, you're Mr. Historian. I don't care. It was, it was called. It was a bloke called Oliver Cromwell. Yeah? <laughs> now he wasn't a king. He wasn't a monarch. Yeah, yeah, but let's just, get to the, let's just get to what I was on about the jack bit, please. Come on, let's get to it, like... We're not, I'm, I'm, not even, I'm not even going to go there, yeah, sir. Yeah, go on, then. I'm not even going to go there, sir. All Why I not? will say is this. Why not? That here we have Charles I, and obviously, upon his beheading, um, a bloke called Oliver Cromwell took over, who cancelled Christmas and let other unsavory elements into the country. Um, you know... So basically, two generations of Scottish king. Now, upon yes. Oliver Cromwell's passing, yeah, uh, initially his son Richard took over, but he was he was pretty useless. So it wasn't very long before the powers that be sort of sent a note over to France and said, "Yeah, any chance you fancy coming back?" Now, I don't know if anybody recognises who that is, but this is Charles the Second. So here we've got another king, Charles II. Yeah. Like, what is this shit? England and Scotland. Right? No, no, I'm, get, I'm getting to it. I'm getting to, I'm getting to the punchline. I'm getting to the punchline. Shut the fuck off, Mike. You're annoying me. <laughs> right? This is Charles II. Now, Charles had no official heir, although he did have several bastards that was well known oh. about. Um, but obviously on, on Charles's death, um, then... James the <laughs> Second of England, Charles's uh, well, younger brother, became, uh, became, became, became became monarch. Now, yeah, and the next the next sort of ruler <laughs> after after uh, after James, and this is where we bring everybody in because the next ruler oh. after James the Second was after all of the commotion and the kerfuffle, and we ended up having some kind of uh, hybrid arrangement with uh, William of Orange, which was William III, and also the co-queen, Queen, uh, is it Anne? <laughs> now, all I'm saying is, all I'm saying is, all I'm saying is, right, we had stability for all of those years, and oh, all yeah. it took was two generations of jocks to fuck it up, and then we got you know, crumbled. No, 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 no. And no, then, and no, then, yeah. and then, and then, and then you get a second. You, a second my bite. you get a second bite of the cherry, and you fuck it up a second time. Like, 
But he in the chair. Are you trying to see what I'm out there? You go. You're born and that's what I was that's that's that's, that's what I was saying before. You see, there's, all... there's something else, there's something else that you missed out there, right? Something else you missed out. There's also lowland Scots that punted my people off their land, you know. So as if I'm ignorant to that fact, you know, <laughs> like you know, you're all in it. All is, no, 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 Throwing him off his throne and taking well, over what I'm rightfully gonna, theirs, you little he, Saxon, he, he, John, gonna, and tea consuming dickhead. Like, how dare you? Um, historically educate me. But, you're annoying me, it's like you. Well, I, know, I know, I know I'm purposely doing it, but we have got a referee, right? And you see, the thing is, the Jacobean you know, revolution wouldn't either. have even you're been a happened. thing if we hadn't had if we hadn't had two bites of the cherry from Scotland fucking it all up. That's two what I'm trying to say. Light. Two bites yeah. of cherry. Yeah. Oh, wait, oh, Scotland would have been one of the richest countries in the world with our oil if you fucking English didn't steal it. Yeah, <laughs> know, but it's hard. great. That's great stuff, isn't it? Here we go. Here we go. This is it. <laughs> <laughs> so like, that's that's all I'm saying is you know you 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 twist and moan, but we gave you everything. You know, you Queen you Elizabeth you deathbed. Me, give you everything. Give you right. everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you've it up it's within it's two it's generations. It's I'm not even talking about Scotland. Talk about the Scottish Highlanders. Like, look what you did to. What, you can't. You can't pretend you didn't do that. You can't pretend. You're gonna go down that route. Can't pretend you didn't do that. You know. I'm, very I'm talking about. about a, I'm, I'm talking about, about a particular about piece of time. because I'm not ignorant, and I know that the Scottish Highlanders uh, did exactly the same thing as the English did to the Highlanders. Very passionate about the Highlands. Very passionate about Scottish Highlanders. That was my point, not stream. So we are stupid. We presentation there. You, you failed to address what I was saying, and that is that when I said you'd be ruled by Scots, I'm talking about you'd have been ruled by Scots, you didn't have your best interests at heart. And quite frankly, given historically speaking in hindsight, uh, that's exactly what you fucking deserve, really. You should have yeah, well, in this day and age, we certainly do. However, it doesn't escape the fact that you had two bites of the cherry to even avoid such yeah, a thing. all wankers, who cares? Here, yeah. DJ, uh, I have a question. If you no. even start and be like, I'll oh, fuck it. No, 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 no. The, the, this is fine. I've just, I've just got a question. Would you let a Campbell sleep in your house overnight? Who the fuck? <laughs> Especially Graham Campbell. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, yeah. Right. And where in the history, whereabouts in history does that tradition start? Is that before that or after these events? Uh... And would you would you like to uh, explain what, how that came up? Well, battle of Glencoe. No, it wasn't a battle. It wasn't, wasn't a battle, was it? Battle of Glencoe. Like, yeah, like, when no. the Campbell fucking slaughtered the vast majority of the McDonald's in the middle of the night. Everybody's know. Everybody knows that story. I learned in school. No, actually, you may have learned that in school, but the rest of Britain didn't really get that. Well, that's their trouble. I got it because I was talking <laughs> about That is what happened. I, in the well, of the night. well, like I say, what uh, what Tucci boy doesn't re seems to forget in is that uh, I've got Macbeth and McDonald in my veins. Uh, so what? I am I am full on Mel Gibson. Me. <laughs> 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 uh, you keep baiting me tonight, like don't just. I get very angry because, uh, as I say, it's like I'm very passionate about the Highlands, Islanders. Because I think next week's stream we should call it two, or next month's stream it should be called Two Bites of the Cherry Stream." What do you reckon? Fuck <laughs> you, like this is. Do you know what though? It's do you know. I know. I know. We're only joking about, it, but it is shit like that that pushes people towards like being out of union, eh? like it's be like arrogant English. I know you're joking, but I'm just saying, like that that attitude there, like, like you know what I mean? Fuck you. <laughs> I'm not eating it anyway. You're not going to persuade me any further. But I'm just saying, like, two bites of cherry, like, come on, <laughs> like, okay, wow, that's cheeky, that's cheeky. You know, how dare you? Ah, <laughs> oh, I just think that you know. 
they're just a Saxon, and you know, the Saxon Act, as far as I'm concerned. There. But you missed my point completely. You prepared this whole presentation as if I was like a Mongo. I probably didn't articulate myself properly in that stream where we had that we argument. My point was, you have no idea what would have happened if the Jacobites had taken over there. And the only reason they didn't, because you didn't have an army down there. It was lies. It was a spy. I can't remember his name off the top of my head. Jacobites turned around and that gave enough time for the English to regain troops. And then they marched up. And that's what happened at Culloden. Had they continued their march, you'd be fucked. You probably wouldn't even exist, to be honest. <laughs> you know? <laughs> you, you, you know? So, so your, your forefathers would be gone. The, the Jacobites have a long history of losing every fight they ever get into. That's the fuck you. No, that's <laughs> uh, yeah. We can, we can go to London Derry with this one more Jacobites as well. Uh, we, we can go to uh, you're not much better, Mr. Irish boy. Like, what the fuck? Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. less of the Irish. All right, Mr. Ulster man, right. you know. But uh, when I say Jacobite, that's, that's just that's a sort of generalization. I'm just talking about Highlanders in general, even before the, the uprising of the Jacobites. I'm just talking about Highlanders, Highland clans. That's, that's well, what I came about. I don't give a shit. Of, well, I don't, it's not like I give a well, shit, but like, that's what I'm passionate about. James, uh, G- the pretender James and all his rebel scum that uh, came over and tried to take the crown back, they were also Jacobites. And? Yep, it's same I'm thing. Talking, with, I'm not talking about like, any of that. Royal, I don't. I don't care about royalty and fake blue blood. I'm on about the actual people, you know, that made up the clans. That's that's, that's what I'm on about. I don't care about monarchies. Like they're all gay. I think the clans were pulled into something that possibly they shouldn't have been pulled into. They were their country bug. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I've been. We're sticking to England. <laughs> I don't blame them. <laughs> I'm joking, by the way. I'm not on England, I'm an English family, but no. I think, like back then, they just wanted their country. They wanted to be independent. And yeah. I know, I know now, now I know that will be some sort of comment like, oh, well, how did the union get formed? I know Scotland tried to colonize and failed. <laughs> so, so I know, I know all that. But the point is, when you just look at the history and whatnot, they just want. They just want to be fucking left alone. The, the, the Highland clans. That's all they want. Even that Karl Marx dickhead wanted rid of us. You know, he, he's, he actually has written that. They wanted, well, we weren't the only ones, but uh, he wanted rid of the Slavs and that. But he wanted rid of the Highlanders because we were too primitive. You know, they just want to be left alone. But you Saxons, you just couldn't fucking leave us alone. <laughs> 